Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you ever wished you could wave a magic wand and get what you want? So does Alice. She's a temporary fairy, not a permanent fairy. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what you have to do to become a temporary fairy. Alice the Fairy by David Shannon. My name is Alice. I'm a fairy. I'm not a permanent fairy. I'm a temporary fairy. You have to pass a lot of tests to be a permanent fairy. I have wings so I can fly. I can't fly very high yet, but I can fly really fast. This is my magic wand. This is my blanket. Fairies use magic wands to change frogs into princes and things like that. I changed my dad into a horse. One time my mom made cookies for my dad. So I turned them into mine. I felt bad about the cookies. So I thought I'd whip up a new outfit for my dad. Did I tell you he's the Duke of Morningside Drive? Well, he is. But clothes were too hard, so I made him a new crown instead. With my magic wand, I can make leaves fall from trees. And I can draw pictures on water. Sometimes I use my wand to disappear. But that's kind of scary. I'd rather use my blanket. Of course, I also have a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, what do you know? It's me, Alice. Thank you, mirror. Fairy dust is very useful. I use it to turn oatmeal into cake. Casting spells is another important part of being a fairy. Watch me make my dog float on the ceiling. Hocus pocus, croakin docus. Howkin towkin, riggin falcon. Doggin floggin, biddle noggin. Okay, that one needs a little work. But a fairy must be very careful with magic. Once I accidentally turned my white dress into a red one. That made the Duchess so mad she locked me in the tower forever. I got away though. A fairy's life is filled with danger. Broccoli is often poisoned by the wicked duchess and should never be eaten. Fairies also hate baths. I'd like to turn my bath water into strawberry jello. That would be fun, but I don't know how yet. You have to be a permanent fairy to do tricks like that. They go to advanced fairy school to learn how.
I'm supposed to learn how to make clothes get up off the floor and dance around and line up in the closet. I'm not very good at that though. I'll probably be a temporary fairy forever. Here's wondering, can you be a temporary fairy too? Maybe. Do you sprinkle fairy dust on your cereal? Or would you rather turn your bath water into jello? <laughs> well, Bear says he's a temporary superhero. So sometimes he flies up to the North Pole to read stories to polar bear cubs. Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in temporary magic. Bye for now. Please subscribe.